Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi and today we are going to plant the seeds of these beautiful four o'clock flowers and see you know how they grow. So I have these four o'clock seeds with me and they're pretty big. So I'm going to just and here in this planter you know I have good potting soil mix and it has good drainage at the bottom so I'm just going to take a seed and just put it about an inch deep. These flowers come in many different colors like white, pink, uh, mauve, uh, fuchsia, uh, yellow uh, and this one is fuchsia. And then I'll just cover it with soil and I'm going to water it thoroughly and leave it outside in the sun and I'll cover this planter with a tray so that you know it keeps the moisture in and uh, at night uh, it stays relatively warmer because for seeds to germinate they need warmth and uh, moisture and as they start to grow I'll keep reposting. It's been two weeks that we planted these seeds and some of them have started to germinate. I can see at least three of these germinating. And this planter is outside because the temperatures outside are pretty mild, about 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime and 55 at night time. And this is in a shaded area so that the soil doesn't dry too quickly because you know the seeds to germinate they require warmth and um, moist soil so so our four o'clock saplings have been growing happily they're about two two and a half inches tall and they are in full sun so they get about three four hours of direct sunlight and um, i keep the soil moist it's been about one month that we planted these four o'clock seeds and they have grown really big. Now they have three, four leaves in each plant and they are three to four inches tall. So it's time that we transplant them. So here are, you know, three remaining four o'clocks in the container where we had planted the seeds and they are growing very nicely. So about five weeks have passed and these three plants have been growing very well they are outside where they get few hours of sun and i keep the soil moist and now i'm starting to see some flower buds so what i have heard is that they are called four o'clocks because they open around four o'clock in the evening and i was waiting for these flowers to bloom and I realized that uh, here, you know, they open up around six o'clock in the evening and then uh, they stay open and then around noon next day, they start to close down. So in three months uh, from seeds to these beautiful, bright flowers, uh, it's really rewarding to see uh, the plants blooming here. These plants are uh, pretty maintenance free. The only thing is that you have to give it enough water and keep it in partial sun. Wash the plants, you know, if they don't do well in full sun, you have to move them in a little bit shade. They normally bloom from summer to uh, fall. And they are also called Marvel of Peru, you know, at few places. And uh, yeah, you know, I forgot to tell you that uh, these attract hummingbirds because they have these trumpet shaped uh, flowers. So hummingbirds are really attracted to these flowers to get their nectar. Depending on the weather, they can also be grown as perennial. Uh, so it depends on where you live. So as the flowers dry, the seeds form. For example, here, you know, this triangular thing, cone kind of thing that's where the seed will form so right now it is uh, still green but if you look at this one look at this one this black thing if i just take the whole thing out 
and this is the seed so look at this one so that cone thing opens up and you just remove the black seed here is another one so this is how I started I uh, collected the seeds last year and then I planted them grew these uh, plants I don't know they have been blooming and now I will collect the seeds and in the next season I'll use these seeds I mean still these these still have a lot of flowers and they'll open up because it's still five o'clock so it will take maybe in an, an hour or so they'll start blooming but basically uh, you start from the seeds and once the seeds start forming you collect them and use them in the next season so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.